just built an RFID system with Arduino in the Parallax RFID reader. I got these on sale uh, months ago when they were on the 999 sale and a breadboarded Arduino chip over FTDI. That's the only circuit that we've got going on is that reader itself. Here's the serial monitor in the Arduino software. Uh, the command zero will display the menu just in case you don't pop it up before the menu gets printed. You can one is to register a card, two is to remove a card, three is to clear the entire EEPROM database of cards, four is to list what's in the EEPROM database, five, active mode is that test of just waiting to read a card and then enumerate if it's in the database, print out access granted or access denied if it's not in the database, and again it's an Arduino so that access granted string can be changed to control anything, relays, LEDs, locks, whatever, you, you know you can just write that in there. And uh, my RFID cards, I wrote the serial numbers on them just to verify that they're working right. So we'll take a look here and see if there's, alright, there's no cards in the database, so I'm going to register one. And it's, once you hit register, it's going to wait for you to actually put a card next to the reader. So I'm going to put a card in there, and um, that's the one that's registered in the database. So now if I uh, list the database, there's that one card in there. Uh, let me just register another one real quick just to, you know, get a a few cards in the actual database. There should be three of them here, let's see. Three cards, there's their numbers, so now what we'll do is, um, we'll just check the active mode real quick to just show you. Um, this card is not in the database, so let's see what happens. Access denied, it says, so that's correct. Um, let's see, do a card that is in the database just to make sure access granted. Now the database itself again if you're seeing a card 0, 1, and 2 I can go ahead and uh, delete any entry I want just to make it interesting. Well, I just erased the entire database. I guess I'm going to have to re-register these cards now. I don't even know the own my own commands here. Sorry. And the registration is fairly fast. I mean there's a couple of delays built in because the reader trying to clear the the actual data that it had before. We got three cards in there again. And uh, to remove an art, alright, that's number two. Now it's going to wait for you to read the card. So I'm going to scan the card that I want to remove. It's going to read that card. And then it's going to remove it from the database only if it's in the database. So now there's only two cards in there. Um, this card, if I want to remove one that's not in the database, let me just show you. It'll tell you not in database, so nothing nothing was removed, nothing happened. And that way you can keep track of all your active cards that are actually um, really good. And I'll do the active mode again with a little another one just to make sure access denied. And then the one I deleted before. It's not in the database. Was that in active? Access denied. And again, you can program whatever functions you want. Granted for that one. Register as many cards. Oh, it, the, it's the 328, Admega 328, so there's enough EEPROM for 100 cards in the database. But that's basically the gist of it. And again, it's fully customizable. The source code will be available on the webpage that's in the description. Thanks for watching.